Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with the final part of our activity. In this last step, we'll test what we have written so far to make sure our project runs the way we want it to, and debug or fix any issues. Let's return to our feature checklist to make sure we have completed all of our tasks. We'll run the program, then check off each item. Run your code to save your work and to make sure your program will be able to run. If everything is working properly, your project should create four variables to store user input, ask for user input four times, print three lines of the poem to the console with the correct user input in the last word of each line, use typecasting to print a text message that includes the number of likes. Not working the way you want it to? Try these debugging tips. Read the error message in the console. Which line does the program stop running? Does it give you any other helpful information? Are there missing or misplaced parentheses or quotes? Are you using the correct variables for each line with proper spelling and capitalization? Did you convert your variables when needed using typecasting? If it's still not working, try a quick Google search, ask a friend, or check the code in your tutorial. That's it for part five, and congrats on completing your poem generator. You can take a moment to go back and customize it with a poem of your choice if you want. To take it even further, check out the extensions at the end of the project. We look forward to coding with you again soon.